Good morning and welcome to our monthly webcast. I'm your moderator, Samir Mehta. This is session 117. And uh, this is the, uh, as you mentioned, case uh, 117, 71 year old, little frail patient, had a CAD risk factors and present with non STEMI last year. Had a lot of comorbid condition with the pneumonia, septic shock, intubated, and then extubated, improved actually all of. People kind of uh, gave, gave him up, but he's a fighter, a strong guy, uh, recovered, then went to subacute rehab, improved, came back. And then, of course, before sending, because it was done outside hospital, they did cath him, had a three vessel disease. And I'll come back to that. And uh, to, he continues to do well uh, from rest of the physical point of view, but continued symptoms which led him to come for angiography, uh, I mean, subsequent intervention and a consultation by the surgeon because of overall frailty and uh, the family decision uh, decided that patient should go for uh, PCI rather than going for uh, coronary artery bypass surgery and of course this is a good medical therapy. So now uh, no, show the angiogram. This is LV actually a little better. They were, it was 45 before. Go, go to LV again now. Yeah. It's actually looking quite good. Yeah, almost yeah. normal. Almost normal, Hydrate. yeah. And this is the prox to mid uh, calcific RCA. And look at the LED calcium on the top, yeah. severe calcium. Before engaging. Yeah. So left main, maybe, you know, tapering, I would say 30 to 50. Yeah, we call 50, yeah. Mm. But if you see here, angulated, calcific, <laughs> big uh, LPL. Yep. But then the important is here. I would say you would have a tram track calcium here. See? Yep. Tram so track calcium mid to distal LED. Uh, the question is the same. What are we going to do with this guy from where are we starting and where are we stopping? Yeah, so actually that's a interesting. Exactly 80% you can interchange. 20% you have specific requirement of uh, one device versus other. This kind of case will be in that 80% that you can do either. Yeah. Good. Now, I think uh, just looking at this, we got to stop short uh, f 5 millimeters away from the left vein. Yeah. If we need to, yeah. you know, future take care of the left vein or uh, circumflex. Yeah. Agree? Yep, exactly. And in this uh, guy who is still frail and uh, recovering from a lot of other things, maybe we can just do LED, RCA, leave the circ, uh, complex circ for uh, right now. That, is, that will be the right uh, approach, yes. No. Now with that note, let's go back to our, uh, uh, that's our goal today, imaging guided OCT multi-vessel PCI while you are engaging and do your things. Uh, as soon as you are ready, we'll stop our discussion. Uh, and using uh, showing the orbital atherectomy today. So we wired, uh, we did primary wiring with the viper. That's the wire we use, 14, compared to the we over to go through the wires. Show the wire picture here for them. Show the viper wire, what's the wire that we use. Same stainless steel wire, like the rotor wire which is tapered. You know, the rotor wire which is tapered, it starts 14, 009, we come at the uh, tip uh, 007, and uh, there's a difference. Uh, at, um, you know, three centimeter versus uh, two, 2.5 centimeters. Uh, there are two wires. One is a floppy as well as extra support. Wiper is only one. Yes, this is the crown. So if you see the di big difference, rota you see is a conical. It is a burr is conical and the uh, part of the, um, you know, the platinum ch uh, uh, diamonds are only in the diamonds. The diamond part is only in the proximal part of the burr. So what happens with the rota? Whenever you are pecking and going forward, slow forward movement, that is the only time you see the uh, ablation that happens compared to if you see what is happening here with the, the, the orbital, you see the, the, the surface uh, 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 ablation because it is the or uh, uh, everything in the side, it is orbits, orbits around the vessel. So what you need for this to be successful, you need at least severe calcium. You do not, we have shown this in, uh, with our OCT papers that uh, this is uh, better when you have heavy calcium since it uh, does uh, orbit around the vessel so that it is doing ablation of the calci uh, calcium. And uh, other thing about this uh, device is it does ablation when it is going forward as well as backward. So now this is lock, if you see here, you want it unlock and why you know it is unlocked, see the movement. So that's how you remember. So your two fingers are holding it like this, so you know it is uh, ready for movement versus you lock. So if you're not doing anything, lock it and leave it like that. And what they have added is the DynaGlide feature, which I'm going to show as we go in. So this is the brake. 
So, brake release and as I am going forward the wire starts coming out. You know, we are going in now, I am going to go on flow row, ACT is good? Yeah, 303. Okay, 303 and he has been loaded with Plavix. Yes. Okay, okay, wire, yeah. wire. Is Usman still there? 2520. Samir Usman left, no? Yeah. A wire, wire. You will get 330. That's okay, right now we will go. We will move it just here. No, I do not want it to cause a wire perforation. We are trying to see, make sure the wire does not go into the smaller receptacle. Right. To and cause some the main lumen, yeah. Okay, okay now right. what I want to do, see it is in the distal left main. I do not want to, just want to show you how by using Dynaglide we can go a little bit uh, for, uh, forward, okay, without uh, doing the burring right from the distal left main proximal LED. So essentially what you will do is you will unlock here, you see that? And then what you are going to do is that you will press. Now it is on, you have to be in the lock button here. Lock it, okay. And then you press, you start making this, you see that? Good. And now when is, can you hear the noise? Small. And then, okay, it says, no, you start pulling, okay, hold the wire and I am just moving forward. Okay, went to the small branch. Okay, good. Much okay, good. There. You saw that? Yes. This manually I went forward, that is yep. it. Okay, now what you do? No, no, you stop, yep, you stop and then you press, okay. And the blinking light is your, uh, as a dyna assist is on. No. Yeah. Good. Yeah, good. The Fine. Glide assist, they call it a glide assist. So now we are ready. Yeah. Again, unlock. Yeah. 330 will be good, balloon, long balloon. Slow. Forward movement. Coming back. And straight forward, the simplicity and the ease of use is really the more. Uh, it's going to tell us yeah. at 20 seconds, it's going to make a beeping noise. Right. So I always say that you have to time it that you pull back because 25 seconds it is going to make a noise. Although it can continue. But you want to make it that 25 seconds you have come back there. Okay. But it will come into the different segment. Now we go with the 80,000 RPM. We rarely, rarely will go with 120. And we have said that 120 is the one cause more perforation and bad dissections. So 80 is the limit for us. 98% of our cases are done with the 80,000 RPM. I think we are fine. Hmm? We will be okay. But have we crossed the tightest lesion? No. Okay, let's try again. But the wire keeps coming back. See, wire is back to where we were. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, one of the problem with this wire I have seen that you have to come back completely out compared to rota. When you do a dynaglide, you are able to wire freely a little bit. Also, their difficulty too. But here is absolutely impossible, even on the dyna assist. So two things you can do. I don't think it's the wire position uh, is causing the trouble. Hundred percent wire position. There's no wire purchase. No, okay, but in this particular out. case, remember the with mm -hmm. this the wire does not taper. So compared to rota, you tapering up to 0 0.005. Here it remains the same. You want to go use dry now? Then now it's okay. That's no, okay. That's a, that is there's a thing to use it. We use the dyna mode to advance the burr, I mean the crown into the vessel. No, you can come out, they say, that, that way it will be easier. They're coming out. Yep. Okay, let us take a picture and see what you have created. Yeah, that is what I was going to. Yeah. And I do not think it is spasm assist. Get 2.5 balloon, right? Yeah. 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 Could be slow flow because of the calcium also. Yeah, yeah. No, tremendous calcium and this patient did have non STEMI, although it was a while ago, but uh, it was such a diffusely diseased calcific leave vessel. Good. Now, they had a second where there is a tip also had an ablative surface, but then there was a gap and then the crown. So, that um, micro crown, they are not planning to bring it to the market because they had a few issues with that. 
so that device will be discontinued. So I, I have shown those pictures in the past. So Micro Crown is not, uh, the company is deciding not to bring it to the market. Okay, go on. What, why have you changed it? Uh, careful, careful. Yeah. Good, opened up nicely. 12. Okay, down. What size balloon is that? It's a 2.520. 20. 20. Okay, now let's see whether we can yeah, have do a flow. Here, do here, one. No, do there first. No, here, here. Yeah, there and They're little proximal emission. both. Okay. So, what do you want to put? Synergy? Yeah, yeah here, here, here. Okay. Some designs. What is it? Okay, good. Do okay, you know. stent and then OCT, yeah. Put the, yeah, sure. the yeah. put the stand. There's a lot of dissection. Let's not. Put the stand. He's yeah. becoming yeah. hypotensive yeah. also. Yeah, you're can we show the hemodynamics? Yeah, that's fine. So let's put a stand right. 38, 275, 38, synergy. It's improved the guard. Zions? Okay. Neosinephrine or something? Yeah, nothing yet. No, he got so enough far, okay. neosinephrine. We gave one time only. And, and then became more. bradycardic, so we gave some atropine. But play the last picture, so it looks okay. Uh, I mean, uh, what would you attribute the challenge in this case with the orbital? Uh, probably more calcification than. Uh, it was number, no, but the key is that that's where the devices should be used. Uh, and uh, we actually had a very nice. Uh, a uh, consensus uh, paper on the rotation atherectomy of North America compared to Europe. Europe, I was the uh, editori editorial consultant. So similar, we came up 12 of the uh, top interventionists who use lot of rotation atherectomy. We came came up and is, will be coming out. Uh, uh, has been accepted. Uh, good. Yeah. I had a pub uh, in circulation. Consensus document. Document for various technical issues. And uh, of course, some of them I may not agree, but as a consensus, uh, the we had to go with it, right. and we did make those points. So this will be a very nice uh, um, uh, manuscript uh, for we have described all the techniques of rotational atherectomy, and particularly the individual groups and so on and so forth, uh, whether it's a long lesion, bifurcation lesions, and osteal lesions, and so on and so forth. An orbital consensus document we did come out, although it didn't make it to the good uh, journal. Uh, we had that also um, about two years ago um, in current opinions and so uh, came out but at least uh, we have the consensus document of both of them now. Okay, that's what good. What size and length yeah. is This length is a 275. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Select the proximal one also now. Yeah. I don't know, let's see. Let's first do this. Yep. Good. Go forward. Yeah. Anu, I have an observation yeah, which two, I wanted to months. share with uh, Samin uh, as well as with you regarding uh, the two. award which you got. It's uh, it's something which uh, which I think is something which we overlook uh, so easily. I think to be recognized by your own institution yeah. is something so important. You know, you can go ahead and conquer the whole world. No I. I used to, and you know, within the within your own institution, to have had made uh, so much contributions here, uh, both in terms of uh, teaching the fellows and uh, uh, leading such a busy practice. Uh, yeah. More dissection, approximately there. Yeah, yeah. Which we expect. Yeah. We'll we take up that. No, no. The what is the length? That's the key. Remember, I would say just come two millimeter in the uh, three point. Uh, we can take a three o, or three point two five actually. No, 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 3 oh, 3 oh. Okay, 3 oh. 28, 28 is too long. Distal 28 will come to the Austin. Very good. Yeah, yeah, looking very good. Uh, so this is what we saw with the orbital. It does the deep cuts and your stent expansion, even in our study, was non-statistically better uh, of stent expansion and opposition. 28 may come up to the Austin, no? Yeah, that's okay. If it comes, it okay, comes. Okay, 28. Yeah, 28. 3 oh, not okay. 325. 3 oh, no? No, 3 25. 25. Big okay. vessel. 3.25. Is that what we are? Some die. Yeah, Rio 24. Other one, one second. Yeah, this is 28. 28. Yeah. 325, 28. 325, 28. 325, 28. Okay. No, no, no. Wrong picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more eye. Mm. Okay, some die now. And do you want to go make a stand boost? No, it is stand, stand boost. Stand boost, boost. Go. It will be a good one. Huh? Or you what want 33? No, we are good, good. no? Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let's take a scene so they can okay. see it. All right. We wanted good. to stay away from the ostium and the... Oh, yeah. see? You have to go a little more distance. You have distance, to go in. No? Yeah. Yeah. Stand boost. Yeah. Yes. 
not first time boost pass. So if you are to see the ostium, I have to go right. Good. You want to get one magnify view a little bit? Yeah. Good. Take one photo Some light. shoot. Good. good. I think we are, we are okay, okay there. Good. You saw no, that no. we are good, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Good. Right. We are going Off to do fluoro save. Yeah. Good. Start using lot of fluoro saves. You don't need to cine every time. Oh, okay, good. Down. Go inside a little bit. Hmm. Is this what is this? Oh no no, fluoro save. I know. We did already. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, lot of look at that uh, EKG. Are we showing the hemodynamics there? Yeah. Every yeah. time we go up, the guy gets uh, hypotensive. Ready? Don't get uh, okay. Yeah. Good. Don't get crazy. Yeah. Mm. yeah, nice expansion. Beautiful. Okay, ready for OCT and then we end up. Yeah. Good. One this view to show how the distal left main looks. Ready? Yep. Nice, beautiful. Looks and now go to get the OCT. What I'm going to do is uh, do the OCT so that we can see the distal left vein. Go. Beautiful. Right. Good. Ready for OCT. So they have added a feature of checking uh, stent optimization, which we will show you. There's a 3D feature. So what is good about stent optimization is if if the stent is not well uh, opposed, it will show you red color. So the machine itself tells you. Nothing OCT. You should be able to see it. Okay. Okay. Doing the OCT now. Ready. Beautiful images. Okay, do the core edge quickly. So when we say core edge, you see that what you do is you do the proximal mark and then the distal mark, you see that? So the entire vessel, it will do a core registration, distal edge coming forward, 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 mm. MLA is coming like 2.1. Okay, now let's go to the 3D. I said there's a proximal edge dissection. Yes. Yeah. The proximal big. or distal? Big, big, proximal. See that? This is proximal. You see my marker, cursor? Mm. Left main looks good. Left main, your uh, area. Right, not, not too bad at all. Yeah. <coughs> is a lumen area is 8.9. So the uh, dissection is, I think, our balloon did it. Can you see it here? It's long. The length is uh, how much? Two millimeter. Yeah, two to three millimeter. So then, right now, then you do a cut, open the ostium of the cirque, and we put a stent across. Come, let's do it quick. Okay. Give us a fielder wire. Uh, let's have the You mean you're saying leave it alone because it becomes very complex. Then we'll never, right? Then we'll never go back to the cirque after that. He's saying leave it. Hmm? That was it, guy. No, no, leave it. Leave it. Complete. I'm okay to leave it. Okay, yeah. leave it then. Yeah, I mean, okay, I good. Area yeah. of the severe uh, uh, stent under expansion. You are going to put it just locally there, no? Yeah, yeah, just the Small. Huh? Excellent, uh, yeah. Samin. Uh, very nice demonstration of uh, the orbital uh, atherectomy. Hopefully, many tips for the viewers. Uh, we conclude our session here and we'll see you on April the 16th.